have no idea where I'm going. No, some guys find that cute. But I can see that you don't, which was stupid to assume. Anyway, do you know where the science labs are? I have class in two hours, but I could be wandering forever and still not know where I'm going. I'm not big on science. Yeah, sorry. You don't look like you're big on science. Not that you look a particular way or that anyone does. Look, I already don't. Please don't think I'm shallow. That ship has sailed. I'm sorry? If you don't want people to think you're shallow, you shouldn't wear expensive clothes and fancy jewelry. It's a dead giveaway. How do you know my clothes were expensive? It takes one to know one. My parents have enough money to buy this place tenfold. But clearly not enough to send you to etiquette school. No, definitely enough. Just not enough concern. Seriously? You want a pity party? How's this? This flashy necklace was a gift from my mom. She gave it to me before she died. And this fancy dress I bought with my dad from the clearance rack. My dad had to do enough parenting for two people, and you're upset because your parents didn't give you enough attention? I didn't mean- You didn't think. Why don't you try not jumping to conclusions about everyone you see? It is possible that you're not the only one with a troubled past. Just think before you assume a sense of entitlement because you think you're different. We got off on the wrong foot. I'm Parker. Jess. And don't think I get it. I get it. No more judging a book by its cover. No more condescending tones. Any other life lessons? Yeah. Don't be so weird. And here I didn't think you had a cruel bone in your body. Let me finish, sarcastic Sam. It's weird, just watching people, not saying anything. You're probably freaking them out. I'm not doing anything to them that they don't deserve. Who are you to determine what they deserve? Remember 20 seconds ago when we talked about your sense of entitlement? Well, here's a perfect example. I'm the guy who's been observing people for the past 10 years. I know how you people, other people, act. Humans are egocentric. Case in point, I sit here every day for hours and watch people, the same people, and no one has noticed. Everyone is engrossed in their own world. Please, tell me how you really feel. I really feel that Humanity is plagued with the incurable disease of being inherently selfish. You seem pretty smart, so when you use the term incurable, I can only imagine you know what it means. But if you need some clarification, I could totally help you out because I'm not selfish. Who's got the condescending tone now? Incurable means, stay with me here, unable to be cured. Even if you were God himself and you had the authority to determine whether or not the human race was inherently selfish, there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Uh, see, that's where you and I differ. I believe there's a lot that can be done to improve this defect, and I plan on doing it, because I'm not selfish. You took my compliment on your intelligence to heart a little too quickly. Perhaps I should explain selfish to you too. Spare me. You're being selfish by acting on your desire to change society. Who are you to say that society needs to change, or it should change? If it wasn't supposed to change, we would still be cavemen rubbing rocks together to start fire, not living in mansions and commanding butlers to turn up the heat in gigantic gas-guzzling cars that fit 50 but carry one. Would you like further clarification? Do not throw my own sarcasm back at me. The point is, humanity is constantly changing. Change is good, but when it's in the right direction. The way people act today is unnatural. If you need to start fresh, head in the right direction. And what is it you plan on doing to push people in the right direction? They need to be reminded to appreciate life, not take it for granted. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? Do not quote Joni Mitchell and think it's going to impress me. Men think women will be swept off their feet at the first sign of sensitivity. You are in the middle of a feminist movement, man. Get with the program. What kind of feminist is- Stop circling around the question. What action are you going to take to miraculously cure society of all of its issues? Well, now that you mention it, it's probably pretty... something stupid. How do you know? Like that... you're gonna host a seminar at 10 p.m. on a Thursday night when you know no one's gonna show up because people have lives to live, but you're gonna use it as proof that humans are unwilling to acknowledge their self-centeredness. I hate people like you. That's impossible. There's no one like me. All right, Isaiah. Oh, great. Let's get religious now. No, seriously. Give the big guy my regards, will ya? And let him know that I'm so sorry for stealing that water gun when I was six from the toy store. It was so selfish, and I've been repenting ever since. Put in a good word for me, will ya? Well, after my selfless act to save humanity, I'll probably get a plus one on my invite to heaven. I'll keep you in mind. You're not God's gift to humanity. You're just some guy in a cafe. Just like me, just like everyone else here. You're just some guy. Okay, you're right. 
I'm just some guy. Uh, why don't we go talk about this somewhere else? You think you can win me over by agreeing with me? If you can't tolerate this conversation, you can leave. I was here first. I was here first? Details. Let's just get out of here. Well, since you asked nicely. Why are you so stubborn? It must be an inherent quality. Can you fix me? Okay. You're wrong. I'm not just some guy. I'm willing to argue with you for as long as it takes to convince you of that. But I actually do like you. No one's ever talked to me the way that you do. And it's refreshing. Annoying, but refreshing. And I want to take you out and you could fight with me for as long as it takes until the cows come home. Um, I have to check my schedule. The world doesn't run on Parker time, you know. Actually, it does. You still have an hour and 50 minutes before your class starts. You I'm God, remember? But this doesn't mean we're going to stop fighting. I have a lot to say, and I'm almost always right about it, so. And just when you think chivalry is dead. You're a feminist. Tails. Oh, your backpack. <laughs>